Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Red Plus Plus. Okay, so we could go up and defeat all the trainers up there that we missed, or we could go right and defeat some more trainers on the way to the Seafoam Islands, or we could go back to Fuchsia and go south and defeat all the trainers on the way to the Fuchsia Islands, but you know what? Nah. I think we're going to go to the power plant. Okay, so, first of all, Gyarados is a really bad choice for first place. I haven't done any grinding in the last two episodes, I should really get on that really, really soon. Sorry, Chincha, you're a bit weak to, um, risk an attack on. I probably should have stocked up on Great Balls, to be honest. Maybe even grab some Ultras. You know what, actually, that's probably a good idea. It shoots positive and negative electricity between the tips of its two antenna and zaps its enemies. Okay, we're gonna go back to Cinnabar for just a second. but we could probably have more. It's always good to have more. Okay, so from the bottom... What is that old sea map? Oh, really? You're gonna make me go all the way to the bottom again? Calcium... Protein. I mean, like, I'm sure these could give us um, a little bit of a boost on some of our Pokemon, but honestly, I could just level them up. <laughs> kind of better to have the money at the moment. Even though we're right near the end of the game, money is still a little bit scarce. Um, let me get rid of that X accuracy as well to free up some space. Okay. Okay. I'll grab 50 Ultra Balls. That'll tap us out a bit. Between episodes, I guess, I'll reorganize our inventory. It's probably well overdue. Mm -hmm. 
You know, at first I didn't like the fact that the sprite was running around with its mouth open, but it really just... It just looks like such a happy guy. It kind of... kind of rubs off on me a little bit. It's just like, yeah, this is awesome! <laughs> running around, fighting kids, talking about shorts. Making animals beat the shit out of each other. I mean, what? <laughs> A lantern? Just straight up. Alright, yeah, we'll definitely grab one of those. I'm gonna probably save my Ultra Balls for stuff that's level 50 and above. I wonder if this thing could survive one hit from something. Oh, great. Please don't die. Okay, good. Damn it. Okay, I don't want to risk another hit, because if I get a critical, it's done. And I don't know how rare it is, but... It is rare. I don't want to lose it based off something stupid. Yay! It blinds prey with an intense burst of light, then swallows the immobilized prey in a single gulp. Well, that is really kind of off-putting. <laughs> and generally unsettling. Wow, are you a Pokemon Maniac too? Wanna see my collection? Well, I hadn't planned on it, buddy, to be honest. I didn't really want to come down here and have a Pokemon battle. That's kind of what I was avoiding. Huh. You know what? Who's weak? Crobat is weak. You know what? Yes, Crobat. I really should level up a Rhyhorn. I might do that between episodes as well. I'll take that health back, thank you very much. A Lickitung. Do we even have anything with a fighting type move? I don't think we do, but Crobat is our weakest, so he can stick around. Um, might as well fly. Oh. The flying attack missed, and I got stomped on by a giant fat lizard with a tongue. And a chubbo tail. I like Lickitung. I don't know how I feel about Licky Licky, though. I mean, it's some Majin Buu shit. It really is. Wow, we didn't get far. <laughs> oh, it's Raichu. Well, I guess if I catch one, I don't have to evolve one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Steelix is the right choice to go with for this area. I really wish instead of adding Pichu, they just didn't and added the evolution for Raichu like they were going to. Its long tail serves as a ground to protect itself from its own high voltage power. What was it called? It was like Domo Domochu or something. It would have
would have made a lot more sense for Pikachu to be a starter then, instead of a mid-evolution. It's just kind of weird. Oh, hey, buddy. I can't help but notice that you're not inside the great ball. Get in your home. Good boy. Usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball, they have zapped many people. I feel like they really need to touch on the story of that, and maybe add variants of Voltorb and Electrode that are Great Balls and Ultra Balls. Probably better than Iron Tail. I kind of have regrets about what I did, just did. I'm gonna take a hard pass on you there, Voltorb, my boy. My boy. Sweet. Actually. I want to check out what that is, because I remember there were good TMs here. Man, I've got some shit to organize. Reflect. Meh. Didn't even move yet, but okay. Dude, I told you before. No. Probably won't. <laughs> um, oh, especially for reasons like that. Wow, your life wasn't worth much, buddy. didn't get far in. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just dig our way out. Might as well heal up. Space. I'm pretty sure there are a few boxes though that aren't super full. Um, okay. Hey, we can take um, one of our EBs to the Seafoam Islands soon. Get it to evolve into a Glaceon. I'm really looking forward to the new um, games as well, Sword and Shield, because there's supposed to be that Eevee Tamagotchi-ish sort of game, which is supposed to be officially licensed, and that's supposed to have at least three new evolutions in it, which would kind of imply that you're going to be able to get at least three more in the new generation. Not to mention as well, I'm sure... Um, the next generation will give us a way to get Meltan and Melmetal 
into the mainline series. Ayy. Alright. Oh, that's right. A super high, um... Encounter rate. I'm kind of torn with Pikachu because I kind of... I feel like the Pokemon fan base has ruined any positive feelings I would have towards Pikachu, just because of pure oversaturation. But then at the same time, I can't help but looking at its silly, doofy little face and being like, oh, you are adorable. I definitely stand by what I said before. I would rather have, um... Ooh. I'd rather have Domochu than Pichu. I guess they could still kind of add it in as an alternate evolutionary path for Pikachu, which would be pretty cool. Okay, we don't want to do that, actually. What the hell am I thinking? Um... Oh, man. It's a hard choice. I should have just thrown great balls. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, good. Okay, good. Man, Steelix was a really good choice to bring along here. Even when we do get to Zapdos. Um, nope. Although I will be leveling the shit out of that Electabuzz. I just feel like we're gonna have to go down as well. Ooh, a Magnemite. Hey, little friend! heard the good word about our Lord and Saviour, Steelix Cthulhu? Well, he has now. Prostrate yourself before me. Uses anti-gravity to stay suspended. Appears without warning and uses Thunder Wave and similar moves. So basically, it's an annoying little shit that floats into the room, possibly from an open window, and paralyzes you, because it feels like it. It may also use Lick Attack and Stun Spore, because they are similar moves. Sorry Pikachu, but I've already got a few of you. I believe I leveled one past level 20 anyway. Okay, I am going to try and catch one of these boys. One of these bad boys. In fact, I'm going to try and catch them all from now on, but I'm going to try and land a crunch attack. Get crunched. Wow, that was not as good as I thought it would be. Ooh, there, there we go. You know what? I'm going to break my rule. Only because Voltorb might just decide that suicide is better than life with me. So... <laughs> there we go. And that'll be the one that we evolve into an Electrode. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, listen here, you little shit. I'm not catching an electrode. Screw it, I'll just use a rare candy. On a, um. On that super strong Voltorb that I caught before. Um. 
No, I think we're good with one Magnemite. I could end up running into a Magneton anyway. Um, I might clear out the path between Pallet Town and, um, Cinnabar, because, well, we kind of need to do that. And then I think from there we might go east of Fuchsia and go and get our Super Rock. That's probably a good idea. And then after that, I'll head into the Seafoam Islands. Or I might do them in the opposite order, I don't know, but... I guess it kind of would be a good idea to break up the monotony of constant trainer battles. Alright, yeah. I might do... between Cinnabar and Pallet Town after this. And then I'll go from Cinnabar to the Seafoam Islands. Then I will head east of Fuchsia. And from there, I think I will do south from Fuchsia, and then east of Vermilion. And then we should be all set to go to Victory Road. Oh, I mean Viridian Gym, actually. I forgot about that place. That's the key to evolve our Electrode. Oh, $5,000 nearly. Um... Just a wild Magnazone, I guess. Um, yeah, probably gonna just head down here <laughs> and throw a friendly ball at him. Hey, buddy, you wanna play? He does wanna play. I was not expecting to find a magnet zone. It evolved from exposure to a strange magnetism. Three separate units generate its magnetism. We still need to find a magneton. There's a bunch of other items as well I've missed in here because I haven't really been searching around too well. Um, I should... No, uh, I don't need to have one of every evolutionary form because I'm gonna run out of space. Oh, okay. Fine, I'll kill you then. That's what you want. I guess I don't need to hang around and grab a Magneton for that same reason. But I will need to, um, evolve my Magnemite. Hmm. 
that's where I would have hidden something. Okay. Definitely save. Oh dear. Hey, hey, hey. Can you please not die when I do this to you, please? I'd be very appreciative if you would just live. Please no, please no. Oh, good. Okay, cool. I'll get him one more. Okay. I'm not gonna be fucking around with this anymore. Um... What's going on here? Okay, um... Yeah, we don't want to poison it. Shit. Um, what happens if I run? Can't escape. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm gonna reload this, and I'll be back in a bit. Alright, let's try this again. With new moves, new Pokémon. It's time to take down Angry Bub Zapdos. Hey, buddy! Zapdos looks amazing, by the way. I wish there were, um, pre-evolutions of the legendary birds, legendary chicks, that would have been cool. Drill pack! Jeez, that's a bit high health. Maybe we'll get lucky. Come on, Gengar. Your purpose has arrived. Hypnotize this biznatch. Please. Please hypnotize this biznatch. Thank you. Oh yeah. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds when dropping enormous lightning bolts. While dropping enormous lightning bolts. Sweet! Our first legendary. Okay, so if you're wondering, yes, I absolutely went and caught a um, Ghastly and trained it up into a Gengar. Specifically for catching legendaries. Oh yes, and while I was in here, I, um, this is one of the places I leveled up Gengar. I found an Electrovire and Magneton. And out here, you can find Slowpoke, so I caught two of those, so we can get a Slowbro and a Slow King. Actually, what, what am I doing? <laughs> what else did I do? I caught a Tentacruel. Oh, it's a real jerk, too. Level 40, though. But it took me like freaking 10, 11 Ultra Balls. I just did not want to go in. Alright, I'm gonna leave Gengar. In the fairy box. I'm really gonna have to organize these boxes real soon. Whoops. I did organize our inventory though, and that took a frickin' year and a half, I swear. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I found a Mr. Mime as well. And I caught a second Tangler, because then we can turn it into a Tangrowth. That was one of my possibilities for capturing, uh, capturing um, Zapdos. Jeez, we cleaned up. That box is nearly damn well full. Okay. We're almost out of time for the episode, but I think we can probably get a little bit more in. Um, Crobat, it's your turn. Let's see. I think we probably could clear out the last of the trainers from north of Cinnabar. Right now, I'm on a triathlon meet. Cool story, bro. me wants to level up the starters, but I feel like starters are generally overused. Like, way overused. Um, we don't want a tentacle. A shiny would be nice, though. Like, wow. Haven't seen one of those in a while. more trouble than he's worth with the meager amount of experience he'd give, but still. I think that last trainer was literally it. Yep. Oh well, let's go visit Mom. Hey Mom! I shall take a quick rest, thank you. Alrighty guys, I'm going to call out an episode there. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes, and until next time, you've been watching Pokemon Red Plus Plus on Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching, everyone.